Pulling a flat skip is a method that allows anglers to fish for species in very shallow water. Fish that are in shallow and especially clear water are oftentimes more spooky and difficult to approach than they are in deeper or off-colored water. When done properly, the primary benefit of pulling is that it's nearly silent and it allows you to target skittish fish. A secondary benefit is that it positions the person pulling on an elevated platform, which can enhance their ability to spot fish. Pulling is an incredibly effective way to target popular species such as bonefish, tarpon, hermit, snook, red drum, and just about anything else that swims or feeds in shallow water. Veteran South Florida guide and Hells Bay Boatworks pro staffer Joe Gonzalez has some tips that can help you become a better polar and catch more fish. So we're going to be polling the boat, okay? For me to have the boat go in a straight line, go forward, what you want to do is just kind of put the push-pull foot right behind the center line of the vessel and you push just like I'm doing like this. If I want the boat to go right, okay, swing the foot of the pole over the right side of the boat and the boat swings right. And if I want it to swing over to the left, I come over and put the push pole on the left side of the boat and give it a nice push and it swings over to the left side of the boat. Okay, so I've made my adjustment. I now go right back to the center line of the boat and I can go straight forward. Now as I'm pulling, notice that I'm just using upper body. I don't have my feet spread out. I've got my feet planted together and I'm just using upper body, trying not to make too much vibration with the boat for displacement. If I want to spin the boat around, what I'll do is I'll come over, I'm gonna spin the boat over towards the left. I come over on the side of the boat like so, and I give it a nice hard push, which in turn swings the whole boat over for me. Push again, the side, come back to the center line of the boat and push forward. And I'm back on track, moving straight forward where I wanna go. The same applies for swinging the boat the other way, just kind of put it over on the right side, push, and the boat will swing around. As I'm pushing the boat forward, and I may want to slow down, okay, I'll push forward. I may have spotted some fish that I can't see or I want to wait for them to approach. What I'll do is I'll take the foot of the push pole on the soft bottom and I'll just plant it and I could just hold the boat firmly and just sit and wait till you can get a cast or the fish approach. Let's say there's wind at my back. It's not that windy in here right now, but if it was windy and I wanted to slow the boat down some, I can take the push pole, okay, and put it in the front of the boat and just kind of control the boat that way, either on the right or on the opposite side, on the left, and just kind of hold the boat back some. And the same is applicable on hard bottom, but you got to make sure you get a good bite, okay? And that's where sometimes the pointy side of the push pole works best. Hard, rocky bottom, you plant the push pole point down and it'll hold you, okay, on either side. The same is applicable if you're pulling on really rough, hard bottom, gravelly type bottom, the point works best. These push poles have the foot part of the push pole is concave, which in turn what it does is it helps you push yourself, okay? It grabs the mud and it helps you push yourself. Now if it's really soft bottom, what you want to do is you want to plant the pole and you just push yourself forward gently. Because if you push too hard, then you kind of get stuck on the bottom and you got to really push out the uh, foot end real hard. So again, soft bottom, you just push nice and gently moving forward without letting that foot go down in the mud too far. Okay. Now under extreme conditions, um, what you want to do, or any conditions for that matter, is you want to try to keep the push pole as close to your body as possible and make the strokes short. In other words, I don't want to put my pole way out here and try pushing forward because it's just going to swing the boat around and vice versa on the other side. We've reached an area that we want to stop the boat and 
hold the boat down. Perhaps you're seeing fish, or you just want to sit and wait and see if any fish come through a point or an edge or something. What we do is we take the pointy end of the push pole, you shove it in the ground, and you give it a nice hard tug. Put it in there a couple of feet, maybe two feet or so. You give it about a 30 degree angle, and you hold the foot of the push pole. The boat's going to tend to swing in the same direction the wind and or tide are going. And you hold off. You're holding the weight of the boat. Okay, then what we're going to do is I'm going to come down off the tower. And I've got what we call a tie-off rope. Okay, which has a loop on the end. And I'll take that loop and depending on how fast I want to get off the push pole, I can do this in two different Air, two different ways. I can come over and loop right up over the ear of the foot like so or if we're not going to be in a hurry when we're going to come off the push pole we can just loop it along the whole foot itself.